next February as your haul. It's the end of February. I'm just getting around to this. <laughs> but I wanted to share what we got for the month of February. It wasn't as big of a haul, but um, some more good things. So let me show you. So pretty often I get their um, big flat of black olives. I really like these ones. We've broke into a lot of things because I'm kind of late getting to this haul. <laughs> The arrowroot I've broke into. Of course, I always order that pretty much every month for my gluten-free baking. Um, garlic granules. I've gone through a couple bags of these. And cornstarch. I always try to get organic, and this is the brand they had of organic cornstarch. Cashews for making, like, dairy-free cheese sauce. And um, 13 bean mix. I just ran out of that. I like making the soup once in a while with, like, cornbread for dinner. Um cream cheese and I also have a block of cheese I bought but we're like halfway through that already so it's in the refrigerator um, there um, smiley suds dish soap in lavender I love the smell of the lavender of this and I really like the soap it works great for us so I always get this and keep getting it when I run out we got more butter I actually have I think I got 20 of these um, but they, some of them are in my freezer. And we got some of their raspberry blossom honey. This is my favorite honey that they have, and um, that came back in stock. So we got another jug of that. We actually ended up getting a free jug of coconut aminos. I had I actually just bought some of this. My husband went and got this haul, and I don't know what happened exactly, but I got some more coconut aminos. Um, then frozen corn. These are frozen peas, and another big box of their frozen organic pastured chickens. Um, I got actually two boxes of the tortilla chips that we get because we had just been going through them so quickly. We probably won't go through both of these before the next haul. but And then of course, it's just my thing now. I get their big 50 pound thing of russet potatoes and use those. They're getting sprouts. I need to deal with them. Um, a 25 pound bag of black beans. And I actually got three bags of some more chicken feed just so that we had some backup um, if they didn't have it on an order. And then I got some steel cut uh, oats. So I was going to say some of the meals that I make with some of this, I mean, these are pretty basic staples. I, um, if you've watched my hauls, you know I order a lot of this every single month. But the chickens, like if I don't get it thought out, but if I do, I'll just make a roasted chicken in the oven and put some um, potatoes and any other veggies, roast them on the side, and that's a good meal, or make mashed potatoes. Um, or I actually just posted a video of my homemade egg noodles and I'll just boil one of the chickens, make broth, and debone it and make a big, huge pot of chicken soup um, with the homemade noodles with these. That's usually what I make with them. Um, the steel cut oats, sometimes we eat those as like porridge, but I need to buy regular whole oats, but I did end up grinding these into flour the last bag I had. It probably would be less expensive for me to not do that, but I just tried it in my grain grinder and it made really good oat flour. Um, but also steel cut oats are fun to eat just instead of regular rolled oats. And then of course the 13 bean mix, I like to make soup with that. And um, usually I make some sort of bread or cornbread to go on the side. Another meal um, is, let's see, what was making, this is making me think of that, um, the olives. I like to make taco salad. Usually that's more of a summer meal, but that's been sounding good to me. So we'll make some beans. We have our black beans and we have the tortilla chips, chop up some olives and ground beef and um, what other, whatever other toppings you like. And we will make taco salad pretty frequently actually. And that's a meal that my girls actually made for us a couple days ago. It's pretty simple for um, kids to put together also. And like I said, the cashews, sometimes I'll make cashew milk, but um, uh, the dairy-free cheese sauce that I make sometimes, or even just make a dairy-free cream for a recipe that would normally call for cream, I'll use those, and they work so well, and I really like them just because they don't have a strong flavor. Um, 
And then my, I don't eat cream cheese, but my kids sometimes, if we have bagels, um, they love to have cream cheese on bagels. So those are a couple meal ideas of what I would do with what I have right here. And uh, I hope you enjoyed my haul.